hello everyone hope all of you are doing well and uh, things are going on fine many candidates have been asking for uh, a quick briefing on sfm theory or how to go about it or uh, few questions or how to remember things that they study today and remember tomorrow so um, i'll be sharing few things uh, do check them out and make the most of it and uh, yeah, this uh, another thing i'll share at the end of the discussion so first question is what are the ins that throw a counter party risk so uh, for example uh, we'll be having lunch in uh, some time so considering the summer you should have off curd you heard me right off curd so h a l f h for hostile action of foreign government a for any regulatory restrictions from government l for let down by third party and f for failure to obtain necessary resources to complete the project or transaction so what are the ins that counter party that indicate counter party risk is off and what are the techniques to manage it is curd that is c for carrying out due diligence use for use of performance guarantee r for reviewing limits and procedure for credit approval regularly and another r is for rapid action in case of default then d is for do not commit to single entity or group so counter party risk means immediately you can uh, link with your regular routine that is off curd so h uh, of the strategy i told then curd is for uh, carrying due diligence use for use of performance guarantee review limits do not commit to single entity or group moving on to the next question what are the parameters to identify currency risk government action will win and uh, w is for war coup rebellion i is for inflation rate and n is for nominal interest rate so what are the parameters means government action win so this is the next question and moving on to the next question explain briefly the applications of war the shortcut is the best b is for benchmark performance measurement to for any operations or trading and e is for enable management to decide trading strategies s is for structure and fix limits for individuals in front office of treasury department so that is the application war application t is for it acts as a tool for asset and liability management in banking so what are the i mean what are the applications of what so best b for benchmark e for enable management s for structure and fix limits and the t is for a tool as for air management common strategies usually follow the passive investors mostly uh, software people or uh, follow this kind of strategy just think like that so shortcut is ibm i for indexation strategy and immunization b for buy and hold and m for matching the cash flow so you can create the shortcuts which will ensure you don't have to do multiple revisions or which you can connect easily so if you follow like this it will be very handy and in case if you feel any pressure that you couldn't revise or the time available is very less for one day just remind yourself that uh, if you could revise all the four modules just before two to three days then uh, you can usually revise one module so yes that is the one thing that i wanted to share at the beginning and moving on to the next question what are the features of uh, alternative investments so if you don't plan or don't have an alternative then your investment plans will make you go to l so you should remember like this so h for i fees e for extensive research required l is for limited historic rate and l is for load less transparency and leveraged buying so when it comes to investments always leveraging will be there so this is the features of alternative investments and due to paucity of time i am sharing only the side headings and uh, last time one of the one of my candidates they asked me uh, why i got only 1.5 out of 4 for a theory so if you write just uh, side headings you may end up getting an 1.52 but my ensuring this is at least to 50% of the mark might get secured so that's the objective begin sharing this things at the last moment so next one is what are the asset allocation strategies so asset once you allocate properly on the planning you can sit peacefully that is strategic asset integrated asset insured asset and tactical asset so what are asset allocation that strategy strategic asset integrated asset and uh, insured asset and tactical asset explain the type of risk in case of distressed securities when you are stressed what do you, what do humans do humans go to a party or event and they pick liquid item and then they go to market and don't even know where they are walking so h for human risk e for event risk l for liquidity risk and m for market risk so this is the type of risk in case of distressed securities so i hope you found the discussion useful do subscribe and share with your friends those who are giving the exams 
all the very best and uh, i mean focus on next half an hour like that and break down your task and uh, enjoy the paper